Okay, give me your full name, sir. Todd Breakfield. <laughs> Breakfield. And Todd is just T-O-D, your first name? Yes. So you've been charged with one count of trafficking of persons for labor or servitude. Your bond amount is $25,000. Do you understand the charges? No, the charges I don't understand the charges. Keep your voice down, sir. Listen to your charges. Do you understand the charges? What is your bond amount? No, I don't understand charges. Okay, you don't understand. Do, would you like me to read the particulars in the warrant, sir? Yes. Okay. Specifically, it is alleged that on April the 11th, 2023, a law enforcement officer made contact with you, the offender, uh, based on a complaint from the alleged victim seat where you where you use your debit card it said you use the debit card without his permission i guess you made you is was it you that made the complaint sir yes ma'am okay specifically okay let me finish it says the investigation involved into a sex trafficking investigation after the offender advised the victim advised the victim called him after getting his number from a mutual friend known as barbie and he invited her to the hotel the offender, which is you, advised that he was from Thomason, Georgia, and is frequently in the area for work. The victim advised that she needed a place to stay and made contact with the offender, which is you. There was an arrangement for the offender to allow the victim to stay in the room for sex. The offender advised that he knew that the alleged victim was a prostitute and claimed that he never had intercourse with her. The victim advised that they had sex, but they got into a verbal altercation after he wanted the experience to last longer than the victim provided the price of the room. The offender showed the officer the text message between the two, that being the offender and the victim, arguing over the money situation, to which the victim noted that he got what he wanted and checked out. And he replied that he was going to get her arrested like her other friend. Those are the particular in the warrant. I do find probable cause, sir. Therefore, your bond amount uh, is $25,000. And I've scheduled your preliminary hearing for May 1st, 2023 at 8.30 a.m. via Zoom. Uh, and then uh, did you complete the request for court appointed counsel? You did not. Are you planning on hiring your own attorney? No. You say no? No. Okay, well, do you wanna see if you qualify for a court appointed attorney, sir? Yes. Okay. Do you have a job? Yes. Okay. And what is your average monthly wages? $1,500. So based on your income, sir, you do not qualify for a public defender, so you will have to hire your own attorney. Because I have $1,500 a month? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's well over the threshold. I got rent to pay in the car. How do I not qualify for an attorney? I have no, because that's over the income threshold, sir. So that I don't, would I don't make over that. Then. I don't make okay. that much. Well, I understand that you disagree, but that's going to conclude your first appearance here for today. Okay. Thank you. Sex trafficking. You can't stand this cool. I'm sorry. Can you give me your full name, sir? Bro, Diaz. Mr. Diaz, you've been charged with one um, with four offenses. The first offense is trafficking of persons for labor or servitude. The second offense is violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act. The third offense is use of possession of drug-related items. And then the fourth, fourth offense is giving law enforcement officer a false name, address, or date of birth. Uh, because uh, you're still on active probation, sir, I'm not authorized to set bail for you today. So there, do you understand the charges as well as the no bond? No, I understand that the, the, the human trafficking charge is my girlfriend that we're talking about here. So I'm not, I'm, I really don't know what's going on with this. Uh, well, I can read, are you currently on active probation? That's me at Miami.
Okay. So you still have that violation of Georgia Controlled Substance Act, but notwithstanding that, that, that felony offense. I can read what's in the warrant to you if you would like. Yeah, no, that would work, please. Okay, sure. Specifically, it states that on April the 11th, 2023, uh, the officer made contact with the offender by the name of Dara Diaz while investigating a sex trafficking case. When asked his name, the offender provided the first name of John. The offender advised that he, the, the, that the victim by the name of Daniel invited him to hotel to have intercourse. He advised that they met once or twice a week for the occasion. The victim advised that she had intercourse with the offender in an attempt to make enough money to pay the co-defendant money she owed for the room. So I believe the co-defendant here would be the gentleman that I processed earlier. So I'm, I'm not understanding. Let me, finish, let me finish. Let me finish, sir. All right, all right, all right. It says that it was explained. It was explained that the offender did not have all the money. That the offender did not have all the money, so they were going to give the rest of it late, at a later time. After the offender was placed under arrest, his belongings were searched prior to being placed into the patrol vehicle, which resulted in the discovery of crack cocaine, rock, a scale, and paperwork containing his actual name and his picture. Those are the particular in this case, sir. I do find probable cause to justify the charges. Therefore, again, there's a no bond on your charges um, because you're currently on active probation. Um, so you, let me finish. I've scheduled your preliminary hearing for May 1st, 2023 at 8.30 a.m. via Zoom. Okay. And then let's, if you qualify for a court-appointed attorney, since there's a no bond, uh, it doesn't appear you're employed, so you, you would qualify for a court appointed attorney, so I will approve that. At this time, I'll take any questions that you have. Well, how, how is there a probable cause for me to be charged with human trafficking if this is my girlfriend? I'm not understanding where where did that... Now, I understand all of the, the, the drug and the drug and the false name. I, I bite that. Sir, you just talking about it. Okay, sir, but listen, listen to me, sir. I got it, deputy. I got it. So, sir... If you listen to my opening remarks, I said, we're not here to try your case today or to take a plea. The purpose of today's preliminary hearing is to inform you of the charges against you and see whether or not I can set bail. So I've done those two things, sir. If you have any, any, any information that's related to your defense of the charges, you can provide that to the court appointed attorney I have appointed to represent you. So that will conclude your first appearance here for today and you have a very nice day. Thank you. Mr. Gurley. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah.